Hi all, welcome to the session uh, Aging Decomposition. So this is another method of uh, decomposing uh, the matrix into uh, the components based on the aging values and vectors. So the aging decomposition, if uh, A belongs to R n by n, that means uh, A is a uh, n by n matrix and it has uh, n eigen vectors that means its dimension is n and it has n eigen vectors then we can decompose a as follows so the condition is it's, it should be a square matrix and it should have uh, n eigen vectors that means if the dimension is n then it should have n eigen vectors then uh, we can uh, decompose the matrix a uh, in the following format a is equal to p into d into p inverse okay p d p inverse okay so this is the eigen decomposition and it is possible only when a is a square matrix and it has n eigen vectors and uh, one more thing the algebraic multiplicity is equal to the geometric multiplicity for each eigen value okay that is this condition should also be satisfied eigen multiplicity uh, sorry algebraic multiplicity should be is equal to the geometric multiplicity and um, the spectral decomposition let a be a, an n by n matrix symmetric matrix then eigen decomposition a of a is guaranteed okay so that means if it is a symmetric matrix then uh, it is guaranteed that we can have the um, algebraic multiplicity and uh, um, geometric multiplicity as equal and uh, this agent decomposition of a is guaranteed then let l uh, lambda 1 lambda 2 uh, etc lambda n are the eigen values and uh, the eigen vectors are p1 p2 etc pn okay this is the notation then P will be the metric P is represented as uh, uh, the collection of our eigenvectors. So each column represent uh, an eigenvector. Okay, so this first column is P1, second column is P2 and uh, hence the last column is Pn. Then D is represented as a, a diagonal matrix with uh, um, the eigenvalues in the diagonal element okay so lambda 1 lambda 2 uh, uh, etc up to lambda n are the uh, uh, eigen values okay and the rest of the elements are zero so it's a diagonal matrix and since p1 uh, to pn are orthogonal vectors we can write p inverse is equal to p transpose so, so that is the property of the orthogonal uh, matrix then hence we can write p uh, a is equal to p into d into p transpose so we avoid the inverse calculation here we can simply do the trans, um, uh, transpose and then we can do the multiplication so a is written as decomposed as p d p transpose okay and uh, what is P? P is the vector of, uh, it's a matrix of eigen vectors. And D is the diagonal matrix of uh, eigen values. So this is P. Each column represents the eigen vector. And this is diagonal element D uh, with uh, eigen values as the diagonal elements. And this is the uh, P transpose. That means each row represent uh, the eigen vectors. P first column, first row represents P one, second row represents P two, like that. And uh, when we uh, do the uh, multiplication, we can uh, reduce it like this: lambda one P one P one transpose plus uh, P one is the first column in this matrix, and uh, P one transpose. Okay, that is the first row in the uh, this last matrix okay so it can be written like this lambda 1 p1 p1 transpose plus lambda 2 p2 p2 transpose like that okay so that means we can rewrite a in this form uh, a is equal to sigma i is equal to 1 to n lambda i pi pi transpose okay and we call it as spectral decomposition of a 
and not each uh, matrix p i i into p i transpose is the projection onto the one dimensional subspace spanned by p i okay so in this um, spectral decomposition this each term p i p i transpose is actually the projection uh, from this n dimension to the one dimensional subspace so the projection map uh, is written like this p of x is equal to p j into p j transpose of x so it is an orthogonal projection onto the subspace span by eigen vector okay so let's see an example for the agent decomposition so we have taken a 2 by 2 matrix a is equal to 2 1 1 2 okay so first we have to calculate the eigen values for that we use this uh, agent equation uh, determinant of um, uh, sorry the reduced form again uh, using eigen vector uh, eigen uh, equation we can uh, come to this statement determinant of a minus lambda is equal to zero then uh, substitute for the uh, lambda 2 minus lambda 1 1 2 minus lambda determinant of it is, uh, is zero so it is uh, reduced like this and that means 2 minus lambda square is equal to 1 that means 2 minus lambda can be 1 or minus 1 so lambda can be 1 or 3 okay so these are the eigen values then we have to find out the eigen vectors for lambda is equal to 1 and uh, for lambda is equal to 3 so here the values are 1 and 3 so uh, find the eigen vectors corresponding to these uh, eigen values so we use this equation a minus lambda is uh, into x is equal to 0 where x is the eigen vector and a is the transformation matrix and lambda is our uh, eigen value. So substitute it. Since it is a 2 by 2 matrix, uh, we use x1, x2 over here to represent the eigen vector. Then uh, after uh, calculating the subtraction, we got it like this that means x1. Uh, plus x2 is equal to 0 so um, x1 x2 or p1 the first eigenvector is taken as minus 1 1 okay then for uh, lambda is equal to 3 uh, we substitute the 3 for uh, lambda and uh, we get it like this so minus 1 x minus x1 plus x2 is equal to 0 that means x1 is equal to x2 so the second uh, uh, eigen vector p2 is written as 1 1 okay so now we have to normalize these uh, eigen vectors our eigen vectors are minus 1 1 and 1 1 we have to normalize it normalize a vector means its length should be reduced to 1 okay so if we have a vector like uh, this v is equal to x1 x2 how do we normalize it this will be returned like x1 divided by square root of x1 square plus x2 square and x2 divided by root of x1 square plus x2 square so each term is divided with the so p1 uh, here this x1 is minus 1 and x2 is 1 we can uh, rewrite it like this minus 1 uh, divided by root of root 2 then 1 divided by root 2 and this p2 can be normalized like this 1 by root 2 1 by root 2 okay so that is the normalized the values so then we can write uh, this uh, agent decomposition p like this p is uh, the first part uh, this is p1 and this is p2 okay then p transpose uh, will be written like this so this is p1 p2 okay this one is p1 and this is p2 okay the first row is p1 second row is p2 like that so d is a uh, diagonal matrix with uh, each element as um, eigenvalues okay 1 3 as uh, these are the eigenvalues so a can be uh, written in the decomposed form like this this is p into d into p transpose that is the eigen decomposition for the matrix a okay that's all about the eigen decomposition so we have seen Cholesky decomposition and uh, eigen decomposition for 
um, decomposing a matrix.